Hi guys! <laughs> okay, so some some of you out there might have seen a video uploaded earlier that was just silent and I've been trying to fix it all day! It's very frustrating! All day! Do you know how long that takes? Um, so this is my second attempt. Hopefully now I've fixed my microphone. <laughs> Stupid computer. Um, anyways. <laughs> kind of trying to remember what I was saying earlier as well um, so number one, it's Friday number two it's been five months since we've done an update on Project Lit Euphoria and I'm gonna start doing that again I hope, all being well um, I want to talk about the book which I will do in a minute um, and um, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, put out a grand apology to say, you know, sorry if we've, I, I think we have some viewers out there, so I'm I'm sorry for not having continued updating and stuff, but just sometimes real life gets in the way of being able to do things like this, and I'm hoping from now on, for myself at least, I'll be able to continue on with Project Lit Euphoria. And, you know, hopefully the other guys will come back as well. haven't spoken to them, this was supposed to be a surprise, but <laughs> um, whether it worked or not with the silent video, it was like I was in a silent movie. Um, yes, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this will work. If not, we'll go for a take three, and then after that I'll just give up. Um, so, it's been five months since Project Lit Euphoria had a, an update. It was... I believe on the 27th of August, although there was one there that was a failed update that was actually mine anyway, and I think because it failed I couldn't be bothered to go in and sort it out because it's quite late at the time. Um, so, Project Lit Euphoria, hello, hello viewers, guys, girls, everyone. Um, the book that I want to bring to you all today um, is a book written in 19, or say written, published in 1926 and it is called Lord in the Mist so let's just show you the book there you go um, I was attracted to this book by by its cover there's a, there's a whole phrase, never judge a book by, by its cover but how many times do you walk into a bookstore and you don't see the book that you want but you see the covers so what do you do? you judge a book by its cover anyway I, I've gone in several times and the design on the front really intrigued me. I just, I wanted to know what it was. Um, and the story itself is is awesome. It's like, it reads a bit like a fairy tale and it is a cool fairy tale. Very dark in places but then fairy tales have a tendency to be dark. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's a really fascinating book. It was written before things like Tolkien and Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. So it, it, it's like it was written before the predefined concept of what writing fantasy is. So there, there's nothing overly magical about it. There's this presence of the fairies that's constantly there, but you never really see them, you never feel them, which is quite cool. So it's like a suggestion of this other world but this other world doesn't ever really appear until the end. Um, what else? Um, yeah, it's just, it's a very good read. I'd recommend it to anyone who has the time to read it. I mean, the only thing that I found of it, because it was written in a time where English was just physically written down differently, I found it quite difficult to read, but um, in, in that sense, because of the sort of complex language it uses. But it's still good. I would very much recommend it. Um, anyway, I'm going to end this there. I've rambled enough, considering I did, did it once already today. Um, and yeah, I hope to speak soon. Okay? Bye!